Yes, our host tonight is a great singer. He is going to lead a lineup of five fabulous comedians in a wonderful, wonderful show. He is a true, true legend, a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He's the originator. He's the emancipator. He is the architect of rock and roll. Welcome, Little Richard! Shut up. I knew what you meant. Did you break anything? <laughs> Did you have anything to break? <laughs> Shut up. I'm so glad to see all of you. This is my first time doing this. I've done many other things. <laughs> but this is my first trip I've always wanted to do this, but um, <laughs> nobody ever called me to do it. <laughs> so I said, well, I told Alan Foster, I said, if you can do it, I can too. <laughs> so I knew he couldn't, but I could. <laughs> I'm just glad to be here. And it's just, um, I've always wanted to be a comedian, but I, I just didn't understand what you're supposed to do. Um, No, it makes me feel good when I see black people in the audience. It's just good. It just, I, I do, I feel good. I feel safe. <laughs> you know, it's just a wonderful thing tonight uh, to, just, to just be and just, just let it all hang out. And I just want to make you have a good time tonight. I want to make you just laugh. I want to make you scream. And I'm going to scream like a white lady. <laughs> a white lady, wait a minute. Wait a minute, shut up. You already let me finish. A white lady said, a black lady said, woo. <laughs> I feel so real. <laughs> I am real. I've been real all my life. Before I ever touched the piano. Like an overgrown Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh, yes.
come here. Shut up. <laughs> this is the first time I've had my own show. <laughs> and I've been deserving it all the time. Nobody never brought it to me. <laughs> this is Little Richard as the... <laughs> and even that improv with Little Richard. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. I feel so... Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. I feel like I'm sitting in your hall. <laughs> I just look better than he does, that's all. <laughs> here I go. Ha! Ah, here we go! Our next high energy performance from the East Coast. And this is his first appearance on Evening at the Improv. So please make him feel welcome. Here is Dennis Leary. Come on! Thank you, Little. Thank you, Little. Anybody who knows him well calls him Little. You didn't know that. I knew that. How are you? Good, good. My name's Dennis Leary. I smoke. I smoke 25 packs a day, okay, folks? I have a cigarette machine in my bedroom, all right? And I am never quitting, okay? I don't care how many laws they make. What's the law now? You can only smoke in your apartment under a blanket with all the lights out? Is that the rule now, huh? The cops are outside. We know you have the cigarettes. Come out of the house with the cigarettes above your head. You'll never get me, cop. I'm never coming out. Say, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. And not only smoke now, I make noise when I do it. I go... <laughs> Sick and tired of these speeches from the non-smokers. It's always the same speech. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, 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 that cigarette's just a replacement. You suck on that cigarette because you didn't suck on your mom long enough when you were a kid. I said, hey, that's the absolute truth. <laughs> if I could buy a pack of Hooters, I would. <laughs> I'd be smoking 40, 50 packs a day. Are you kidding me? I'd never get out of the house. I've been out in a drugstore first thing in the morning. Give me a carton of 44 days ago. Eh, bye. I love to smoke. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Non-smokers always look at you the same way, don't they? They always give you that look when you light up. They go, ah! <laughs> go ahead and smoke. I don't care. I'm going to live 10 years longer than you will. Doesn't always work that way, folks. Two words. Jim Fix, huh? Remember Jim Fix, the jogging guy? Jogged 15 miles a day, did a jogging video, did a jogging book, and dropped out of a massive heart attack when? When he was jogging, that's when. <laughs> what do you want to bet it was two smokers who found the body and went, hey. <laughs> that's Jim Fix, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go get some butts, come on. <laughs> It's always the yogurt sprout-eating idiots get run over by a bus, by, driven by a guy who smokes three and a half packs a day, you know? <laughs> Sorry, officer, didn't see him. I was too busy smoking. <laughs> by the way, if you don't smoke, you might as well light up right now because I don't smoke so much during the show, you're going to have cancer before you leave the building, all right? <laughs> you're walking out going, what a great show. What's this thing in my neck? Ow! Ow! <laughs> It's time to play Name That Tumor with your host, Dennis Larry. Bill, can you name that tumor? Hematoma, correct for 50 points. <laughs> know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get a tracheotomy. So I can smoke two butts at the same time. <laughs> I love to smoke, folks. I love to smoke. Most smokers talk about quitting. They think about quitting. They have quit and gone back. I have never once thought about quitting. All I think is, how can I smoke more cigarettes every single day that I walk this planet, okay? I want to get up to 50 packs a day before the year is over, all right? I want an iron lung in my apartment, okay? I want an iron lung with cable TV hooked up to it in my living room. I have one of those bike things I can change the channel. Oh, don't, 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 don't. What's on TV, Dennis? Hang on. Oh, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> I love to smoke, folks. I love to smoke, and I love to eat red meat. I love to eat raw red meat, okay? <laughs> Nothing I like better than eat a nice, big, raw cheeseburger and smoke a hot steaming butt at the same time. <laughs> I love to smoke. I love to eat red meat, and I only eat red meat that comes from cows who smoke, all right? 
special cows they grow in Virginia with tracheotomy holes in their neck. They go, mmm, mmm. <laughs> My hero is James Garner. What a guy, huh? Had open heart surgery and kept on advertising beef on TV. You saw the commercials. Hi, Jim Garner here. <laughs> that was a close one. You know, I love beef. <laughs> He's doing shots of A1 sauce, you know? Jar of mayonnaise hanging off his aorta. What a guy. I just can't walk into a restaurant and order vegetables. I feel like a wimp. What do you want to eat, sir? Broccoli. Oh, it sounds much better to go, I want meat. Raw red meat. Just bring a cow over to my table. I'll carve off what I want and I'll ride the rest home. You guys have been great. Thanks a lot. I'll see you later. talk about me right now. All my life I've been wanting to give singing lessons and give music lessons to people, but I never had the opportunity. I haven't had the opportunity to do much in a lot of things I wanted to do in life. Because every time I say that I'm originator, some people don't believe it. When I say I'm the architect, nobody believes it sometimes. Some people do it, some don't. Some people think I'm the originator of toilet tissue, you know? I'm not the originator, but I have some of it at home. <laughs> you know, I would like to give you all some singing lessons. I would like for this side here to say, in the middle of the set. I like for this time to woo. Shut up. I'd rather do it myself. I think you better stick to the show. comedian was a finalist in the San, San, San Francisco comedy co competition and there's a star on the rise. On the rise? He's coming up. And welcome the natural humor of Mark Curry. Yeah. I thought he was white. been out to a department store and just want to hit somebody else's child? Yeah. You, know, you just be saying to yourself, if them was my children, I'd beat the hell out of them. <laughs> I'd go ahead and hit them. pay out. And I'll blame it on the shelf or something. I think he hit his head on the shelf. Good. Management, come on here. You should just move this shelf. Come on here. <laughs> Bad look. I hate when people give you pictures of their little born baby when that baby like a day old and that baby don't look like nothing. He is. Don't he look just like his father? No, woman, he don't look like nobody. <laughs> Take that picture back. <laughs> Baby's not gonna look like that. <laughs> Some people have ugly children. How many people have seen ugly children? Be honest. Yeah. Ugly. You know it. Because that baby always had that little blanket over his face. <laughs> when he was about four years old, <laughs> was like, whoa, hey. 
This is a test. If you think your neighbor's children are ugly, take them to the zoo. Walk them by that monkey cage real slow. The monkeys do like this. So why he get to get out? <laughs> You can tell. My mother used to embarrass me. My mother used to like pop me in the store and embarrass me. Like, I'd be in a department store, I'd do something like ah! So I used to get her back. I used to wait till Thanksgiving, everybody would be over the table, the priests and all the relatives and back east. My mother would reach for a roll like this. I would go, just, don't hit me, mother, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. I know, put my hand on the flame, I know. Do I have to get in the closet again? No. <laughs> the relatives would be like this. So she got me back. She put me in Catholic school. Oh. <laughs> Catholic school. I, used to, I, I didn't mind Catholic school, but the only thing I used to hate was that uniform. You know, a little white shirt, you know, blue sweater, black and white pants. Because I lived in a rough neighborhood, and the bullies used to always stop me. Every time I walked down the street, <laughs> look at this dude, man. <laughs> Hold on, punk. <laughs> what school you go to, man? We're going to take all your money. What school you go to? I go to parochial school. <laughs> Hold on, man. Hold on. So, Jay, 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 what parochial mean? <laughs> What's parochial, man? It's a karate school. Go on, dude. I... <laughs> oh, I need some money. <laughs> Remember in Catholic school they had cheerleaders? Remember cheerleaders in Catholic school? Anybody a cheerleader? Yeah. All right, good. See, people say, yeah, I'm a cheerleader. <laughs> I was, too. No. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Catholic school cheerleaders, they, was, they just loved their job. They would come out and have so much fun. They would come out like this. And public school girls would come out with a different persona. Catholic school girls would come out like this. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> We've got spirit. Yes, we do. <laughs> We've got spirit. How about you? <laughs> Thank you. Now, public school girls will come out with a whole different persona. Public school girls will come out like they didn't want to do it. They come out like this. I'm head cheerleader. <laughs> hey, <her. laughs> Turn the music on, please. <laughs> oh. The music come on to be like this. That's all I need to be saying. Let's go. <laughs> and my mother used to always take us to school. I used to hate my mother to drop us off because we had a terrible car. We had a 71 Plymouth Fury, ex-highway patrol car. So we used to drive down the highway. People used to pull over. <laughs> We'd be in the back seat like this. <laughs> And then my father had to run out there painting the car yellow, a big four-door yellow car. The car looked just like a taxi. <laughs> Shit, we used to stop at stop signs. People used to get in the back. He'd be like, Mama, Mama. Shh, I'm driving right now. But Mama, that man want to go downtown. <laughs> Shoot, my mother didn't have any money that day. She'd take him. <laughs> That'd be $11, please. Driver carries no cash. Hey, lady, that was a $20 bill. What about my change? Call the company, sucker. <laughs> Thank you, Omar Curry.
tonight. Me. <laughs> oh, I was, oh, shut up.